All right, Guy NY here, and today we are going to test out the Jump and Carry Model 660 Jump Start. I bought it a few weeks ago, haven't got to use it yet. This is the plow truck. I used it Wednesday night, haven't used it since, and it won't start this morning. If you can see that, the battery is showing 11.9 volts at rest. I've got the meter set to record, and I'm going to try to turn it over. I've done this once or twice already this morning. That's how I know the battery's dead. So as you can hear there, it won't turn over. Let's go back around here to the meter. And, oops, sorry, go to minimum. There's our max is 11.92 and our minimum is 5.7 volts. So obviously this battery needs to be replaced. That's okay. I have a good replacement to put in it, but I just want to show you this jump starter before we do that because there are some concerns with this particular model of jump starter that it may not be big enough to start a V8 engine. And this truck has a 5.8 liter uh, 351 gasoline V8 in it. So let's get connected up here. All right, there we go. There's our jump and carry 660 connected to our battery. Let's see if it'll start now. Well, it still doesn't want to start. It's, I think it's four below zero right now, so that's not too terribly surprising, but I did want to show you the jump starter, and you can see it's turning over extremely well. So the jump starter is doing its job. Everything else is just frozen up. So there you go. Thanks for watching.